So thank you for the opportunity this evening to add a little bit to this very important occasion, the launch of the Leeds Sustainability Institute, which I'm delighted to be associated with in a, a small way um, here tonight. And I hope that will allow for a continuing relationship of one kind or another. However, I want us to start our sort of thoughts this evening, not here in Leeds, but really quite a long way away in Japan. We've just been through the first anniversary of the disaster at Fukushima. We've been reminded of the horror of what that sequence of events meant in the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. And of course, it's worth remembering that there are still more than 30,000 people who cannot return to their homes in that area and may not be able to return to those homes for quite some time to come. So every time you hear someone say, isn't it an amazing testimony on behalf of nuclear power that not a single person was killed, just bear in mind that the lives of tens of thousands of people have been completely devastated. But that isn't really what I want to talk about either. Because I want you to think about what is happening in Japan right now. Before Fukushima, Japan had 54 nuclear reactors generating relatively low carbon electrons to provide for a very large percentage of Japan's electricity. 52 of those 54 reactors are currently closed down. 52 out of 54. As you can imagine, this is having something of an impact on the Japanese economy. And I'm just going to give you a tiny little flavor of what that means. So in any major Japanese city today, were you to be walking around at night, instead of the normal effect that you would get in a Japanese city of seeing the whole place lit up with these insane neon extravaganzas, it is very dark indeed. A law has been passed that no one may use neon advertising in any major city. It's only street lighting. 